This lecture is about the merging multispectral band for generating a color satellite image. In previous lecture, you studied the pen sharpening the satellite image band using QGIS. In this lecture, you will study the merging the multispectral band for generating a color satellite image without using plugin of QGIS. Also in previous lecture, you studied the merging the lens and multispectral band for generating a color lens and satellite image using plugin of QGIS. The plugin was SCP. But the difference in this study, in this talk there is a difference between that uh, previous lecture and this lecture. In this lecture, you will study the merging multispectral band. It's not only for Lancet. So we, in this study, we will, st we, we will use the new satellite image. And for the, also, we will generate the color, the satellite image, without using the SCP plugin of QGIS. In previous study, I used uh, the lens satellite image, and in this study, I will use a, I use the Comsat 3A satellite image. Comsat 3A satellite is launched by Korean government, and it was the Comsat 3A. The satellite was launched in March 26, uh, 2015, and the Comsat 3A satellite image. So it, the image co consists of the five band, five spectral band. Uh, the first one is panchromatic band, and second one is blue band, third one is green band, fourth one is red band, and the final one is near infrared band. And the spatial resolution of the Comsat 3A satellite image is uh, the 0.55 meter. I mean the 55 centimeter for panchromatic band and 2.2 meter for multispectral band. So in previous research, we studied the pen sharpening process, right? So I mean, so also Comsat 3A, the the multispectral band, the, the band the resolution can be improved to 0.55 meter by using the pen sharpening process. In this lecture, you will use GDAL library for generating a color cellular image by merging the given multispectral band. The GDAL library can provide a very good raster tool for generating the color cellular image. And compared to the plugin, the, in the previous lecture, we, uh, you studied the SCP plugin. The GDAL library is not plugin. It is the originally installed the library in QGIS. And GDAL library provides a very efficient the vector and raster analysis tool. So I generally recommend you guys the, use the GDAL library in QGIS for your job. Okay, let's practice to generate the color Comset 3A cellular image using the multispectral band. First of all, import the all the all multispectral band of Comset 3A in QGIS. As I mentioned in previous slide, the Comset 3A cellular image consists of uh, consists of four spectral band: red, green, blue, and near infrared. And first of all, in since it seems too dark, right? So I choose I will select the this button, local cumulative cut stretch button for stretching. Yeah, local stretching, and this one, and this one, and this one. Okay. Then I will go to the processing menu in the menu bar. I will go to in the processing menu. I will go to the toolbox. And I will I will click I will search the 
merging merge option in Jida library. So go to this one merge library, uh, Jida library, and go to raster this menu. And here is the merge option, right? After the merging option is shown in QGIS, I will go some some multiple step for merging this uh, merging the spectral band. Okay, first in merging option, the click the input layer, and by clicking the browse button here, and and then you will select the spectral band for merging. But in this case, you need to consider the order. So for usually is I is start I G B button right? It's go like a red, green, and blue. So for the color image, right? So in this case, in using the we need to fit the order. So for example, in R G B, green is go to the second one and B is the, the next one, right? The so R G B and near infrared. Then select all and click the OK. And the second one also you need to click the this button place each info file into the separate band because we need to merge the four band to for generating the color image. So in this case we need to regard the uh, we need uh, we need to regard the uh, each band as a separate band, right? And then, so we need to click the output data type is uh, since COMSAT 3A is uh, the pixel byte uh, have a uh, uh, integer 16 byte, so also you need to click the on int 16. Then I will choose the I will click the I will click the wrong button. Since the usually high less processing the high resolution satellite image require quite relatively quite long processing time compared to Lenset or even MODIS or how to say low uh, uh, low spatial resolution satellite image. So in this case, since COMSAT 3's A satellite image has very high uh, high resolution, so in uh, so you need to uh, you need to wait. So it takes some quite long time, okay? After the merging job was completed, the, the merge layer, the merge layer is here, the name the merge T5 is shown in the layer layer list in QGIS. Uh, after I close the merge option, then I will focus it. Yeah, as you see here, yeah, the color, the COMSAT-3A satellite, COMSAT satellite image was generated and then we can zoom in After we zoom in the, the generated color COMSAT 3A satellite image, we can see the since even the high resolution satellite image has very huge file, so it takes some time to yeah this one. Yeah, so we can see very clear the the place is very clear the color comes a cellular image was generated in here so okay so in this lecture you study the merging process using the the multispectral band of satellite image. In this case, we we use the COMSAT 3A satellite image, and uh, in this study also we you study the merging process without using uh, plugin, right? In this uh, in this lecture, you study the GDAR library.
for generating the color cellular image. Thank you for watching this lecture. Please subscribe this channel and push like button for this video. Thank you.